Oops, there's a couple of effects I didn't get to last time. I don't think I touched on wave, uh, although I can't remember about that one. And I definitely didn't touch on VU meter and I want to spend some time on that. All right, well, no one's saying anything, so make up my own mind. All right, so let's go and create a new sequence. We'll discard all those changes. We need to create a musical one. Um, this is probably not why, but I'm going to use the same song. Let's hope it turns out okay. Um, I'm going to go up and actually, I'm going to create a timing track as well. Um, uh, sequence settings, timings. Um, no, timings, new. I'm going to, to, I'm going to take the beats. Take the beats. Okay. Done. Go to the master view. All right. So now we've got all our beats and our timing marks and everything. Um, I will do. Whoops. I really didn't want to do that. Oh, Ooh, guess what? You can't do an undo when you've just typed for timing marking. It crashes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So my new timing there. Put one timing mark there, and no one about there. And we'll grab our models, and we'll save that. So if we crash it. We're okay. All right. So the first thing that I want to show is the, the VU meter. Um, and we'll use a matrix, generally speaking. Um, so the VU meter is one of these uh, sound sensitive effects. Um, this particular one actually shows you uh, the exact sound waveform wave that's displayed up here. Um, in real time where the current point in the song is actually the right here and this is kind of the tail rushing off to the left. If you pump up the number of bars here, uh, it'll look a little bit more like this. And so you see that it's, yeah, it's the waveform that's playing during the song. Uh, you can define um, many colours. So this, the more colours you define, the more extreme those colours are shown. So it starts in the middle. Um, it starts at the bottom with white, goes to red and then green um, across the effect. So that's the waveform, that's the default, but there's a whole bunch of others. We've talked before about the spectrogram. So this is the frequency breakdown of the song. Uh, the low notes are shown over here, the high notes are over there. This song's got a serious amount of bass in it, so not surprisingly, uh, the bottoms. <laughs> when the bass kicks in and the bass goes right up. Um, this looks great on a tree, um, having it bounce up and down. Obviously, you'd reduce the number of bars significantly. No one has a 100-strand tree, um, but you can set that down um, to a much lower number. Uh, if you just want to show the bass, then you can come down here and play with the start note, and so you can choose uh, just to show uh, the bass elements. Um, and so when you play it, um, you know, you, you only get the bass shown, all the high notes are cut off and not shown. Reset it. Um, so that's a spectrogram. Uh, there's a couple of other settings. Oh, there's just a horizontal offset which pushes it across. Oh, there is a slowdown falls. This is actually worth noting. So you can see it's bouncing, it's it's not bouncing around too much, everything falls away silently and that's because the slowdown falls. This is the actual frequency breakdown. You can see it's a lot more jumpy, there's stuff going on all over the place. Slowdown falls, just make sure that like a graphic equaliser, when it falls, when it drops, instead of just dropping to the next uh, level, it actually slowly falls its way back down. Um, so yeah, there's a few of them where that exists. Okay, so that's our spectrogram. Um, got volume bars. So volume bars is basically like you cut this in half and we're only showing the top half of it. 
And so you get just that. This is the intensity of the music um, that's being shown here. Um, so that's volume bars, not that interesting. Uh, timing event spike. So timing event spike is interesting. Um, this is coming out and basically it's drawing a colored bar every time it hits a beat in the song. Um, if you reduce the number of bars, they get bigger. And so this is now flashing every time you get a bar. This is dancing across the effect every time it hits a bar. So when the bar hits, it starts with the line and it moves across. Um, this is this is triggering off that beats uh, timing mark. If we're doing it off new timing, it obviously wouldn't trigger very often because there's no timing marks within the effect. So that's a timing event spike. Uh, timing event sweep. Um, so this does a, a color sweep where it resets the color um, every time it hits a timing mark. And so you get that sort of, in this case, a pulse across uh, if you ramp this up. Um, obviously, it's got more of them, and so it travels a lot more slowly. So, yeah, it's one of these things where you just kind of need to play with the settings to get something that you really like. So that's timing events week. Again, it's being anything that says it's a timing event, it means it's triggered off a timing track. And so having lots of timing marks inside that duration of that effect is necessary to get it to do anything interesting. Uh, the on effect. The on effect basically chooses the first colour chosen. And so now it's red. And it just turns the lights on to a, a level that is proportionate to the volume of the music at that point. So when it's quiet, it's going to be black. When the lights are fully on, it's going to be white. Um, this could be really good as a, as a background on an effect. You know, you give you that background that pulses with the intensity of the music and you don't have to do anything fancy to make it happen. It's all pretty much automatic. Um, then we have pulse. Um, and so pulse is, is similar to the on effect. Um, Oh, I'm trying to remember what triggers it though. Yeah, I think this. Uh, I think pulse is triggered by the. Um, it's triggered by that beat, the bars. It is. Sorry, you can tell the timing tracks here. So it's tri it's triggered by the bar, and so every time it hits a bar, the lights turn on, and then they slowly fade away. And how quickly they fade away is governed, I think, by the bars. So if you make it really short, it just flashes. You make it really long, it fades slowly and pulses. Um, I really should change the descriptions to be more descriptive depending on what effect you choose. Um, intensity wave. So an intensity wave um, basically draws a vertical line representing the intensity of the song at that point in time. And so you get this sort of colored wave sweeping across. Um, if you select two colors, it's, it, um, it varies between those two colors. So this is red and green. I think green's when it's intense and red's when it's not. Um, I remember rightly. So level pulse. So level pulse is interesting. This is not a great song for this, but um, level pulse lets you set the sensitivity. And when the song crosses that sensitivity threshold, um, it causes the, the lights up here to turn on and then fade away. And so if you've got a song which is a little, got a little bit less of this sort of just continuous noise, you can get it to actually flash in times with the, the beats in the song or the intensity of the music. Um, and once again, you can almost yeah, sequence an element without having to do any hard work. You just drag it out across the duration and your, you know, your, your lights on your house or whatever will just pulse in time with the music and it will look very, very sequenced with the, with the sound. Uh, level shape is a similar idea, but here you've got a shape and once again, it pulses with the intensity of the music. Um, the sensitivity um, just makes it a bit smaller. I think it doesn't get as big, if I remember rightly. Uh, you can move these around, so I can move it off to the left here and center it on the left. And with layers, you can put two or three of these things and have two or three of these circles going off at the same time. 
Um, and you can also change it. It doesn't have to be a circle. It can be a filled in circle where the colors that you've chosen up here are graduated over, a, over the circle. Uh, there's a square uh, and there's a diamond as well. And so you can put several of these on and they will just pulse in time with the music. They grow a little larger when the, the music gets loud and smaller when it doesn't. Uh, color on. So color on, if I remember rightly, is like the on effect, except it changes color. It's like um, it's like it's go when it's really quiet, it'll be red, and then as it gets loud, it'll tend more towards green, and when it gets really really loud, it will tend towards blue. Um, and so yeah, it changes color according to what you've chosen. Timing event color. Um, so I've chosen three colors. And every time it hits one of those beats, it just chooses the next color, right? So that timing track now triggers color changes between the chosen colors as the song progresses. So no longer do you need to drop a color on effect between each beat to cause it to happen. You just set the timing marks where you want it to change. You set the color order you want it to be and the VU meter will take care of changing the color as each of timing event occurs. Um, note on. So yeah, I think, so the difference here is that you can, um, so this is like the on effect, which is proportional to the intensity of the music. Um, but in this case, you can say, well, I want it to be proportional to the intensity of the music, but only at the lower end of the range. So if it's playing high notes, uh, this thing won't show up at all. And when it gets to the low notes, it will become really intense and ignore anything that's going on in the high notes. Um, and so what you can do is you can um, uh, uh, you know, decide that, look, I just when the beat happens, when I hear the bass, I want it to flash. But when the, um, the singing happens or, or the, the high notes, the treble notes, etc., I don't want the tree to react, the, the effect to react to that. I just want it to ignore it. And so you can do that using the note on effect. Um, and then there's the note level pulse. And so this is, uh, once again, a, um, a pulse that occurs when a threshold is crossed. Um, but in this case, again, it only looks at a certain frequency. So this is only going to pulse when um, it hears some intensity above 42%. So let's go a little bit higher, but only in the high range. So if there's no high notes, it's black. Um, and so, yeah, you can have, again, a different element in your display may be reacting to the high notes in the song from a different other element reacting to the low notes in the song. And that's it. So look, a whole bunch of different, this is like a, you know, this is like the Swiss army knife of tools. Everything is related in that it at least looks at or is sensitive to the music or the timing marks, but it, each one does slightly different things. So it's just a bit of a... Uh, uh, um, a Swiss army knife of effects.